Hello friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. I want to give a quick little tutorial on how to play funk guitar grooves on keyboard. And I'm going to be using Music Lab's real Strat guitar with IK Multimedia's Amplitude 4 with a couple of effects on it. And I'm going to show you my settings, I'm going to show you what instruments I, I used, and how to do it. So here we go. First thing is on real Strat, you have to have it in legato. An Amplitude, I have a compressor. I have an Ottawa by Neutron. This is um, not included in, in Amplitude's um, base version. You have to actually buy this in the store. It's like 15 bucks. Then I'm using six, the 65 Twin Reverb amp with the 65 Twin Reverb cab. This is paired and I have a little bit of reverb on it. So this is how it sounds with those effects on. As you can hear, the wah is responding to my velocity. So the harder I, I press, the harder I hit the keys, the uh, more it activates that wah. For my bass, I have Ample Sounds J Bass. For my drums, I have Superior Drummers Alaire kit. And for my Rhodes keyboard, I have, I'm using Lounge Lizard. And here's the groove that I'm going to be using it's just a, a four bar loop. So that keeps going on forever. Now I'm gonna go back into Real Strat and show you what I'm gonna do before I, before I play. So if you look at this side of the keyboard, on G sharp one and A sharp one, this is our, our muted strums. And it goes up and down so that you get that different sound. This is going to be really useful when we're doing rhythm. The other one is G1 and A1. Those are going to just strum the notes that you are playing with your right hand up here, um, any note that you play. This feature allows you to do like tremolo. And the mutes, well, they mute they mute the strum um, while you're playing. So it cuts it off. Now this this little song is in G minor, so you're gonna have to know G minor scale, which is G A B flat C D E flat F and G. And when I play this. I play. I tend to play a, f a fourth interval. So um, if I'm playing in G, the fourth is going to be below that, which is D. So I'm going to alternate between the strum or the chord on my right hand and the muted strums on the left hand. So the strum I'm doing on my left hand is actually a 16th swing. Da, 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 da. And you could experiment with your own grooves. Mix it up. Whatever sounds good to you. All right, so on some parts I'm going to be I'm going to be doing um I'm going to be sliding to the neighboring chord. This is where the log legato comes into play.
And this is all in that G minor, uh, G natural minor scale. It might sound really complicated, but it's actually really simple. If you stick to that scale and stick to those fourths, you don't have to stick to the fourths. You could do minor thirds, you could do um, single notes. And if you mess up, just edit it later. That's the beauty of MIDI. So here we go, I'm going to just make stuff up on the spot. Now, I don't know what that looks like to you, but to me, it just, it feels pretty simple because I'm just sticking to the scale and alternating between the, the right hand and left hand. You just go back and forth. I'm not really doing any complicated movements. That's pretty much it with, with this kind of rhythm. Um, it's pretty fun to play, especially on real strat. You can do it with other plugins like Ample Sounds AGF, which is a, a Fender Strat. And um, I think Evolution, ha Evolution uh, excuse me, Orange Tree Samples has their own Strat guitar, but I'm not familiar, familiar with that one. Um, but this by far is the easiest one to do it on. So I would recommend you trying this out. Um, trying out Amplitude, but um, you don't have to strictly stick to these. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like this, share this, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you.